When Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, confessed in his memoir and in interviews that he took psychedelics, my family, we saw the reaction of the UK media. They accused him of glorifying drugs. They called for him to be deported. We saw what the Daily Mail did. Daily Mail contacted an American right-wing foundation called the Heritage Foundation who demanded access to Harry's visa documents, visa application to know if Prince Harry said in his visa application that he took drugs. My family, they were trying to get Harry deported from the U.S. Now, my family, why am I talking about this today, my family? Because my family, the same papers that were blasting Harry, attacking him over his confession that he took psychedelics to cure his PTSD. My family, to help him in treatment, praised a Scottish rugby player who confessed to using psychedelic drugs. My family, please kindly hear this full story. And I quote, When Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, admitted in his memoir to using psychedelic drugs and praised how they helped him redefine reality, no one was more outraged than the Daily Telegraph, where Camilla Tomen is a liar and Victoria Ward, who just published this exclusive about Meghan's letter to King Charles, that was sent years ago where they work, where they write for my family. They were so outraged at the time. No one was more outraged than the Daily Telegraph, my family. And here is what they said at the time. Prince Harry accused of glorifying drugs with dangerous psychobabble. That's what they said. The paper stormed on 6 January, quoting anonymous government ministers, calling his comments grossly irresponsible, in that they seek to justify and promote drug use. The Telegraph even consulted a number of immigrants Gracian lawyers the following day presenting its findings under the scathing headline Prince Harry should have been denied U.S. residency over drug use revealed in memoir. That's what they said. My family. And since then, they have tried so, so hard to get Harry deported. My family, and to this day, Harry has not yet been deported from the US. Prince Harry is doing good deeds in the US using his charity actual. Prince Harry is a good man with a very good heart. Everyone knows that. And the UK media hate that about him. They hate Harry for being a man who defends his wife, who protects his loved ones, who tells the entire world how his life was miserable while in the royal family. Yet my family, you have the carnival of so-called experts, people in the UK aspiring to be on top of the class system. That is the royal family, the monarchy itself. Prince Harry, by rejecting that, he and his wife and family have pissed off the so-called monarchists. My family, and told the entire world, you are wrong. 
about being in the royal family. Life there is not a fairy tale. It's a life of misery. You are controlled by them. You don't even have a real job. You have to depend on your father, on pa, on Charles. And depending on the mood he's in, then guess what? He'll give you money. If he's in a good mood. That was the life. My family. He who controls the pastrings, the money, controls you. That was the life. This idea, this fantasy of fairy tale in the UK royal family. My family, Prince Harry and Meghan have destroyed that. It does not exist there. You have members of the royal family who leak stories about you to the media to embiggen themselves. That's how life is like there. So Prince Harry and Meghan, by exposing what that life is like, by Harry leaving the UK, Harry fleeing the UK, it has embarrassed the carnival of so-called experts and some monarchists whose job is to prop up the monarchy as being so important my family and my family right now from what we can see some people still cannot recover from harry fleeing the uk to this day they have not been able to recover and they've tried to use any means whatsoever just to get harry back they have tried calling for Harry to be deported. It hasn't worked. Right now, Harry is coming to the UK for Charles' coronation. And the main problem the media has, the press has, the tablets have, is that Harry is only staying for the crowning ceremony. And after that, he's flying back to California to spend the day with his son, to enjoy his son's birthday. They can't stand that. They're so upset. Pissed off my family. Every plot. They have. Every evil plot. They try to get to keep Harry by force. It just ain't working. And they're whining. Mourning. Upset about that. And they express their frustration. In the only way they know how. First, by trying to get Harry deported. Secondly, by abusing Prince Harry and Meghan. My family, when will they ever learn? No matter how many times they go after Harry and Meghan, my family, they will never be able to break apart Harry and Meghan. My family. And my family... As I continue with the hypocrisy of these media outlets in the UK who create this folks outrage. You know, my family, I recall reading something which said that Rupert Murdoch has mastered the art of keeping people angry. And this right-wing media outlets in the UK, I can also say, have mastered the art of keeping people angry. Because if you can keep people angry, guess what happens? You can keep their attention. Attention equals money. Attention equals revenue for the UK media. And that's what they want, to keep people angry. And so my family, no wonder, they created this Fox outrage, accusing Harry of glorifying drugs, which is not true. My family, Prince Harry used psychedelics, my family, because he had PTSD. The trauma that has been caused to him in his life because of the UK media, because of the farm, because of losing his mother. Because of the pain of watching his wife be abused every day and be powerless to stop the abuse. 
Because from Harry's memoir, we have read how Harry tried everything. From the moment he woke up to the moment he went to bed to stop the media, the tablets, from lying about Meghan. To stop the tablet media from going after Harry, you know, Harry's then girlfriend, Meghan, at the time. Harry tried everything to get it to stop. That's what you learn from Harry's memoir. He did everything he could until he saw the only way my family for us to get some reprieve is if we get out of here. When Harry and Meghan went to Canada with Archie, they had some peace. And they wondered, you know, if we left, maybe this is what we could have. Maybe this is what we could have. This peace. And Prince Harry and Meghan decided to flee the UK after a torrent of racist abuse from the media. The press thought only Meghan would leave because of how they were abusing her. Prince Harry has even said that. They thought only Meghan would leave. Because of how they were abusing Megan, they never thought that Harry would live with her. My family. But Harry left with Megan. And it humiliated the entire establishment of the monarchy. That a prince would leave the monarchy. It exposed this sham that about the fairy tale in the royal family. There is no fairy tale in the royal family. There is only lack of loyalty amongst senior members of the royal family who are jealous of each other. Who leak stories about, you know, Harry and Meghan to embiggen themselves like what we've seen William, Charles, Kate, Camilla doing. My family. And my family, because they have been exposed, they are so hungry angry my family that Prince Harry confessed to using this psychedelic drugs my family to help him cure, treat his PTSD caused in the UK. It ruined the narrative that Harry was happy before Meghan. It ruined that and they were angry my family. And today we expose their hypocrisy, we expose how the media, the press, create this folks outrage. My family, we expose the hypocrisy of the UK media. My family. Now, as I continue, my family, this paper, the Telegraph, and the other tabloids, like Daily Mail, was still on the case as recently as 4th of April. When it enthused that Harry may have to keep U.S. authorities updated on his drug use if he is to retain visa rights to live in California. It has emerged some of the articles, pieces they wrote at the time. So my family, how did this paper, Daily Telegraph, react? A few days later, when former Scottish rugby international player Rory Lamont revealed his own extensive use of psychedelic drugs. My family. They gave him a 1,200 word first person article to tell readers that, and I quote, my rugby injuries made me suicidal. But psychedelic drugs, psychedelic drugs saved me. Complete with plugs for his own retreat. At which participants can join in ceremonies smearing toxic secretions from a South American frog on their skin in order to and I quote, facilitate your journey with the great spirit of Cambo. 
no dangerous psycho bubble there. They had no complaints there. No dangerous psycho bubble there. When Harry said it, my family, they accused him of glorifying drugs. They called for Harry to be deported. My family, today we expose the hypocrisy of the media. My family, and that's how they operate. They are full of hypocrisy, full of fake outrage that they create. Fake folks outrage that they like to create time and time again, my family, to keep people angry. If you can keep people angry, you can keep their attention. My family, that is the policy, the principle of how basically the right wing media in the UK operate by keeping people angry. It's exactly how Fox News owned by Rupert Murdoch operates by keeping people angry. If you can keep people angry, you can keep their attention. And that's how they operate. And that's a fact. My family. And my family. These papers are just full of. You know. Hypocrisy. Let me call it hypocrisy. Because that's just what it is. My family. And they're so bitter. About losing Harry. It has always been. And will always be embarrassing to my family that Harry left. To them, it will always be embarrassing that Harry left. And my family, no wonder, they try to get him back. By force. By him being deported. That's what they want for Harry to be deported. My family, for her to come back and be forced to stay. My family, and I would not be surprised if the press are trying to plot something to keep Harry there in the UK and ensure he does not leave after Charles' crowning ceremony on Charles' coronation. Because my family, we have been told that right after that crowning ceremony, Harry will be heading back home. But my family, I feel like there is something the tablets will do to try and keep Harry there by force. That's how I feel. And I hope that they don't succeed, my family. My family, allow me to read some comments from members of the squad on this hypocrisy that I have just exposed to my family. And my family, someone said that, I mean, does it surprise anyone? We've seen these tabloids reach out to the Taliban for comment. Their journalists are a bunch of negative, nasty, hypocritical liars who will do anything to start up outrage about Harry and Meghan because it is profitable. Exactly. Exactly. People are getting it. Exactly. That's what they are doing, my family. And it works quite, you know, a large number of times. It works many, many times, my family. Many, many times. My family, someone called Casey that hate for higher journalists are just hypocrites, my family. It is a vicious vendetta that they are waging against Harry and Meghan. It always was. They don't even bother to pretend any more. My family. Someone said that the hate they produce against Harry and Meghan, they're just so, so twisted, my family. And my family, what did Harry really say in his memoir about taking psychedelics, my family? Allow me to just read Harry's memoir where he talked about psychedelics my family what did Harry say about this my family now my family now and I quote what Harry 
said my family. I visited Botswana, spent a few days with Tej and Mike. I felt a craving for them, a physical need to go on a wander with Mike, to sit once more with my head in Tej's lap, talking and feeling safe, safe, feeling safe, feeling home. The very end of 2015, Harry would go anywhere just to get away from the UK media. Anywhere. Maybe that's what pissed them off. That Harry wants nothing to do with them. Harry would go to Botswana just to get away from the UK media. Just to get some peace. Perhaps that's what they don't like to be reminded of. Perhaps that's what the carnival of so-called experts don't like to hear. Harry's constant rejection of them, my family. <laughs> and they respond with abuse, with trying to get Harry deported. May all their evil plots of the carnival of so-called experts and the farm against Harry and Meghan, Archie, Lilibet and Doria and us members of the squad fail, my family. Now as I continue, Harry said, and I quote, I took them into my confidence, told them about my battles with anxiety. We were by the campfire where such things were always best discussed. I told them I just recently found a few things that were sort of working. So there was hope. For instance, therapy. I followed through on Willie's suggestion. suggestion. And while I had not found a therapist, I liked simply speaking to a few had opened my mind to possibilities. Also, one therapist said offhandedly that I was clearly suffering from post-traumatic stress and that rang a bell. It got me moving, I thought, in the right direction. One other thing that seemed to work was meditation. It quietened my racing mind, brought a degree of calm. I wasn't one to pray. Nature was still my God. But in my worst moments, I'd shut my eyes and be still. Sometimes I'd also ask for help. Though I was never sure whom I was asking. Now and then I felt the presence of an answer. Psychedelics did me some good as well. I experimented with them over the years for fun. But now I began to use them medicinally for therapy. They did not simply allow me to escape reality for a while. They let me redefine reality. Reality. Under the influence of these substances, I was able to let go of rigid preconcepts to see that there was an that, that there was another world beyond my heavily filtered senses. A world that was equally real and doubly beautiful. A world with no red mist. No reason for red mist. There was only truth. My family. After the psychedelics wore off, my memory of that world would remain. This is not all there is. All the great seers and philosophers say our daily life is an illusion. I always felt the truth, always felt the truth in that, but how reassuring it was after nibbling a mushroom or ingesting ayahuasca to experience it for myself. 
The one remedy that proved most effective, however, was work. Helping others, doing some good in the world, looking outward rather than in. That was the path. Africa and Invictus. This had long been the causes closest to my heart. But now I wanted to dive in deeper. Over the last years, also, I had spoken to helicopter pilots, rangers, and they all told me that a war was on, a war to save the planet. What you say? Sign me up. One small problem, Willie, really, Africa was hitting his thing, he said. And he had the right to say this, or felt he did, because he was the heir. It was ever in his power to veto my thing. And he had every intention of exercising, even flexing, that veto power. We'd had some real rows about it, I told Tidge and Mike. One day, we almost came to blows in front of our childhood mates, the sons of Emily and Hugh. One of the sons asked, why can't you both work on Africa? Willie had a fit, flew at this son for daring to make such a suggestion. Such a suggestion. Because rhinos, elephants, that's mine. My family. It was also obvious he cared less about finding his purpose or passion than about winning his lifelong competition with me. My family. And my family, as you have heard what Harry actually said about using psychedelic and William's obsession with just, you know, trying to be better than Harry and clearly always failing, my family. As Harry has said, my family, William care less about finding his purpose or passion than about winning his lifelong competition with me. My family. William, Africa is not your colony. You know, imagine someone telling William, hey, look, William, you both can work on Africa, you and Harry. William throws a fit because he does not want to work with Harry. My family, William has always viewed Harry as an enemy rather than a brother. As someone that he can throw under the bus just to embiggen himself, just to make himself look good. That has been the life. And my family, with all that, even you would experience trauma. My family. And it's clear being in the farm was so, so toxic towards Prince Harry. Toxic also towards Meghan. And that is a fact. My family. And my family, Prince Harry did not glorify drugs. He never has. My family. And my family, that is a fact. And the hypocrisy of the media to praise one person for revealing he took psychedelics and then attacking Harry for saying practically the same thing. Prince Harry is a human being. He has feelings, emotions like anyone else, just like you and I. Prince Harry has emotions. He feels, he feels pain. He feels happiness. And my family, being in the UK, clearly has been toxic for Harry. Being next to carnival of so-called experts, the tabloid media, has been toxic to Harry. The main problem Harry has had and continues to have is that toxic relationship to the monarchy and the press. And Harry even said that in his memoir. And no wonder 
they, the monarchy and the press, are to blame for Harry's trauma. For Harry, for Harry taking the psychedelics, that's to get away even from everything that he was experiencing, to redefine reality, my family, to escape his pain, even for but a moment. The monarchy and the press were responsible. And so my family, perhaps that's why they're so pissed that Harry confessed to taking drugs, my family. Because life in the monarchy is supposed to be, you know, glamorous, like how the media prop it ought to be. But that is not the case, my family. That is not the case. The only way to get happiness is when you leave like what Harry and Meghan have done. Live and chosen love. To love each other. To love their kids. My family. And the media. Tablets will never forgive Harry and Meghan for choosing each other. For choosing love. When they wanted for Harry to be miserable. Like all the spares. That's what they wanted. Harry is a human being. He has a right to be happy. He has a right to choose happiness. No misery, my family. Harry has a right to choose happiness, not misery. My family, tell me your thoughts on what has been said, my family. I'd like to hear your opinion, my family, please. My family, I'd like to hear your opinion on the hypocrisy of this, you know, UK media. Even someone said that UK media should never be taken seriously by anyone, much like the UK government and the royal family. My family, tell me your thoughts. I like to hear your opinion, my family. And my family, I'm so sorry to Harry for what he's had to endure while being in the royal family. And I'm hoping that day after day, he and Megan can continue to heal from the pain that has been caused to them by the farm and the key media. My family, God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipidana, and Doria Ragland, and all of you members of the squad at home stay tuned to our next video love you always and forever hello members of this Squad family tv first of all i want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel we don't take it for granted that you support this channel i want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices supporting prince harry and Meghan, showing them love Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.